Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about something that I'm very excited to show you guys uh, because it's something that's been really popular lately and not a lot of people have talked about it, um, talked about the benefits of it. So without further ado, we're going to be talking about my Opscore amp headset. As we're going into Thanksgiving, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who has supported my channel, either you know liking or subscribing or even checking out the website um, and purchasing some stickers. I have a few left, and um, if you want to purchase these before the holiday season, um, I really appreciate it. It helps the channel immensely, and you know it helps me decide whether or not I want to develop any more merchandise for you guys. So I would appreciate if you checked it out. The link is below in the description. So those of you who clicked on the video, you'll notice that I wanted to talk about my headset, but I have my helmet in front of me. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is my Opscore um, Carbon SF helmet. Uh, if you haven't seen the video on that, go ahead and check that out. I'll link the video below. Uh, but this is all sort of like a helmet system. So Opscore has, has you know, pioneered the helmet game um, and tried to integrate everything into one system. Um, so with that being said, I'll talk about things like the SOTAR, or the respirator. Um, I'll talk about the shroud. I'll talk about the other various oxygen masks and, you know, counterweights and things like that. They've done a really good job at integrating the entire helmet system. So it's very hard for me to explain to you guys how these sound. Obviously, you're not putting them on your own head and listening to them and listening to the sounds around you. But I can't say enough that these have awesome sound. So Opscore has a technology called three-dimensional three sound, which, you know, it, it, it is very three-dimensional. Um, I tested it in a shooting course with uh, Mark Smith at JBS, and I was really able to kind of tell where people were behind me without, you know, taking off my ear pro, without flipping them up. Um, I know a lot of guys like Mark were running their headset, you know, above their head when they weren't shooting, you know, just based off of uh, comfort and, you know, hearing level or, you know, maybe they get sweaty. Uh, but I really had a hard time remembering if they were on just because, you know, they sort of really didn't have any differences between my ears and the way that they sounded. I could get a really good directionality on things behind me, in front of me, to the corners. I, it was awesome. Um, unfortunately, that's going to be one of those things that it's just going to be really hard for me to put into words that would make you guys understand what I'm talking about other than they work. Um, I have had experience with the Contact 3s. I have not had any other uh, Peltors. Did have some Contact 2s, but we won't talk about those. Um, but the sound is tremendously better than the Contact 3s. So one of the great benefits about the Opscore amp system with the um, adapters for the helmet is just their stowability. So as you can tell, they're sort of like wrapped around the helmet. Um, they are very tucked in. So if you don't if you don't have one of these, typically uh, the helmet stowage systems will be, you know, pop them off and then swing them back, you know, and close them on the helmet. Um, it's more low profile than that option. And if you're running them under your helmet, obviously, you know, you'd have to hold onto them separately. So I really think the Opscore system with the stowage is great. So how you unstow them is basically you grab the ear cup by the arm. So um, when I do this, I also always grab the arm because it has some more stability. Grab the arm, pop it, and then you're going to rotate it down towards your ear. So, and then you'll just be able to close it like that. So turning your Opscore amps on and off is pretty easy. All you have to do to turn them on is hold one button, and you'll hear it power on. And then to turn them off, you'll hold both of them down to power them off. So when I had my Peltor contacts, one of my biggest gripes with them is what do you do with the comms cable? Um, if you know, you'll have this com you know, comms cable which runs your PTT, which runs your radio. Um, it doesn't really go anywhere. I mean, it kind of like hangs down, it gets in your way. A lot of people like me had zip ties running around my ears. It's just cumbersome. Um, something that Opscore did really right with the kind of idea of modularity was make that detachable. So at the bottom of each ear cup, you have a port which you can decide whether or not you want to run your radio on your right or your left side. That also said, um, since I don't really run comms, you can see that I don't have my microphone attached to it, but Opscore has the option of either running your microphone on your left or running on your right or just not running it at all as I do. Something else that the Comtax did that I didn't really like is that once you integrated them with a helmet, it was kind of a pain to go back to a head mounted or without a helmet 
um, hearing option. So you'll see a lot of guys, they'll running around, you'll be running around with their helmet and you know, they'll have their hearing protection on it. I felt like a dork running around with my helmet on in broad daylight, obviously, primarily because I just use this to stow my night vision on. Um, I felt like a dork. So one of the nice things about the Opticore amp system is the ability to remove the ear cups from the rack system and to put them in your headband to put them on your head without a helmet. So I'll kind of show you guys how to take apart your amps headset and put it on your, your headband if you're going to say, you know, go to the range and you don't need a helmet. So all you're gonna do is fold these out. You're gonna take these, lift them up. So you can see there's kind of a groove right there that prevents you from putting it upside down, which correlates to the actual helmet mounted solution. So all you have to do is just pop those out. So now that I have those out, you can see that there is a cable channel on the headset mount. So right here, you'll just take that out. Same thing on the other side. And then right here, these actually come with the headset. Uh, so it's just Velcro tabs which hold in the cord. So really, that's all there is. So now that I have the headset taken apart from the actual mount, I'm gonna show you guys kind of what makes the headset different than the uh, Comtax. So for those of you with Comtax, you'll notice that there is no battery cover right here. There is rather a port, which you'll unscrew, which is holding a AAA battery. So each headset actually uses one AAA battery um, and the lifetime is around 100 hours without the NFMI upgrade. So uh, this is just a microphone port, which is you know taking in the sound from around you. Um, what you have here is what I was talking about is the modular um, mic adjustment. So you can put your mic on either side. So right there, you can see a threaded adapter. So if I take the actual mic, so it plugs in with these two prongs, which is kind of like a standard uh, mount, which you'll just plug in. And then it's like a, uh, a screw which you will mount it to each side. So as you see fit, you can actually move it from one side to the other, or as I do, just take it off. So just as mic placement is up to you, so is the down lead placement. So you'll see that each side will actually have its own, I believe it's called Amphenol. I'm not sure, I'm not super fluent on you know cables and stuff like that, but each side has its own mount so you don't have to run around with uneven cables if you don't want to. Also, it means that if you are using a different style of cabling, you can buy a different down lead, which I believe the Opscore provides. Super cool, you don't have to buy a different headset. Um, if your unit changes radios, you can change as you see fit. So when you're putting your ear cups on the headband, first thing I look at is these tabs right here, which are for cable management. So what you're gonna want is you're gonna want your cables running up on this side. So if you look, when the actual ear cup is mounted, so it's it would be going the opposite direction. So just for ease, we're going to put this on this side. So clip that in. Okay, so that one's clipped in. Go ahead and clip in the other one. So that's clipped in, and now what I was saying is that the cable management is going to just follow the path of the headset. So it's going to be like this. I haven't done the best job with the cables, but you get the idea. So as far as comfort goes, uh, the comfort of the actual ear cups is you know, one of the best I've ever felt. Um, it doesn't really get sweaty. Uh, the material, it, while it does seal in, uh, you know, obviously sound, um, it doesn't really get as hot as you would expect. Um, from a lot of ear muffs, you'll feel like you know, it's just condensing your sweat on your ears. Um, it did get a little musty in there you know, during the summer, during a hot class, uh, but it really wasn't that big of a concern. So a little bit about the technology inside of the amps and what makes it different than the rack. Um, for those of you who don't know, the rack is more of the helmet integrated uh, communication system from Opscore, whereas the amp system is a modular design to where you can take it from your helmet to a headband um, as you wish. 
So both of the models have an option where you can include them with the NFMI, so that stands for Near Field Magnetic Induction. I'm not going to talk about what it means because I'm not I'm done reliving physics, uh, but they're basically another layer of hearing protection inside of your earmuffs um, if you're exposed to loud gunshots or if you're using them for military use and you're you know in artillery and uh, you know airplanes things like that. Um, but I have really no concern with the hearing protection on the actual amps. Um, I have some decibel readings provided from OpScore. So on these numbers, you're looking for higher numbers. So obviously a higher number will mean it is rated for a higher sound, uh, sound level. So in both the Rax and the Amp headset, uh, without the NFMI, you're typically looking at a 20 to 22 decibel reduction. Um, this top number is the uh, noise reduction rating. That's the number we're looking at, really. Uh, the other numbers are there. You know, If you want to research what those numbers are, you can. But if you're looking at the top number, that's the number you're focused on. Now, if you look at the NFMI inclusion, you can see that the rack has a 32 decibel rating, which the other one has a 34 decibel rating. So I'm not going to make the claim whether or not that these are better uh, than the current offerings from Peltor as far as sound reduction goes, because I have no experience with those models. Uh, but you can do your own research and decide whether or not that is better suited for your needs. But I will say that three-dimensional technology and these headsets are amazing. It sounds great. Um, it's really good for people who are doing classes, maybe law enforcement teaching classes. Um, it's really great without you know taking them off, uh, without removing them from your ears. Being able to protect your ears while communicating with people, super important, and it's a super nice feature um, that kind of justifies the cost. Um, so the cost is the biggest barrier for people when they're going into these headsets. But I will say that there are some really great discounts out there, which you should look, up, look out for. They might be doing a Black Friday special, which I'm not sure, but you don't have to pay MSRP. So don't let the MSRP shock you because totally you're looking at around a thousand bucks. But don't let that price scare you because you should not be paying MSRP. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate your support. Make sure to like and share and comment uh, if you like this video. Um, if you want to learn more, be sure to reach out to Opscore's website for all the information. That's where I got all the information in this video. Uh, but if you want to do your own independent research, go for it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to stick around because I have some videos planning in the future. Um, hopefully ammo prices are coming down. Um, probably not, but I want to get out and get some shooting videos for you guys. So stick around and stay safe. Thanks.